On this video, I'm gonna cover a few things crochet, like tips, inspo, what's on my hook, and a few more. So this week I picked Cosmaudi's video on the Clover Beanie. Cosmaudi is honestly awesome, you guys. If you don't follow her yet, definitely give her a follow. I bought a bunch of her patterns and I find that they're very professional and just as detailed as you want them to be. Every single thing she designs is just beautiful. This video is quite interesting. First of all, if you're a crochet content creator, you know that when you're trying to make a 60 second video or even shorter of you like working on something, you feel like you need to speed things up, get through them really quickly. You know it didn't take you 60 seconds to make that product. So condensing it into that chunk of time just feels super quick. What Cosmaudi does that I really appreciate is that she actually just slows down. She takes the video and she's just going super slowly and it's almost soothing and pleasing to the eye. Everything she selected on the video is also very intentional. All she's got is the yarn to show you she's working with too. Got like pretty rings on her fingers. That's just kind of like cool looking. And then the project, very simple, very demure. So this video has great potential for rewatchability. And I think that's why I did so well. So I found the last week and a bit, my mind has been racing. To give you a little bit of context, I have three jobs. This content, YouTube crochet is my business, but I don't focus 100% just on this because I have to pay my bills. And so while I'm growing my business, I also work in the restaurant part-time and I also do a little bit of acting for commercials. And so all of those things combined take up a lot of my time, but also my brain is kind of split up. You know, I have the three tabs of each job and then the million tabs under each one the jobs. And so that becomes a little bit overwhelming for my brain. I find myself before going to sleep thinking about a lot of the things I got to do. So one thing that has helped me a lot, I think it's called box breathing, where you breathe in for four seconds, hold for four, breathe out for four seconds, hold for four. That visual helped me a lot to kind of envision it. And now I, I kind of just tap my fingers um, against like my belly. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's breathing in, holding, breathing out, holding. And I genuinely feel like that that calms my nervous system. That is something that helps me a ton and maybe it's something you want to give a try. So this one here is called the tile motif. What I like about this is it's a square that you make by creating four squares and then you sew them together as you go. I find this to be so unique and different. And I feel like this also kind of gives you ideas of like, okay, if I can sew them in the middle, I could probably just create a longer rectangle in either direction. You can kind of just play around with the pieces. It kind of felt like Legos and then you sew them together or I guess put them together to create whatever piece that you're making. I find the detail in the middle so beautiful. It's as you can see, it's lacy, but it's so unique. It's a really beautiful square. If you'd like to try this design, I'm gonna leave the full tutorial down below on the description of this video. Where do you buy your yarn from? You know, right now that I'm doing all these tutorials, I'm obviously trying to get the best bang for my buck. And so I, I'm just using acrylic, um, which not a lot of people love, but for the stitch tutorials or the motifs, it's just the easiest and most affordable way to do that. For that, I just go to Michael's. I live in Canada and I think Michael's is in the States and Canada. So it's this big craft store. They have everything um, from, you know, frames to actual yarn and crochet knit um, accessories and a bunch of other stuff. So basically I go to Michael's a lot because it's convenient. There's a few around where I live and so it's just easy to do that. One of my favorite, favorite yarns in the world is Hobie. I believe that you can only do uh, buy online, but they ship worldwide. So if you've never heard of it, honestly, highly recommend. Um, I'm probably gonna leave them on the description of this video, but they have beautiful yarn. Okay, so this one here, ignore the actual piece because I haven't put this out yet, but this is cotton, but it's really soft. There's something about the color that's just bright almost in a really good way. So I like their cotton quite a bit. Try their mohair as well. And just the colors they offer, I find that are very unique. So that's, I would say their you know, biggest competitive advantage. I mostly go to Michael's just for the convenience but if I want to treat myself, I got a Hobie. 
this is something that I started last year and I was supposed to deliver it last year because it was for my partner's birthday gift and I didn't finish it. I got overwhelmed and intimidated by the project and I decided to pick it up again and it's going so well. I did a whole sleeve last night and I now have to finish the other sleeve. So in the end, add like the bands, but honestly, it's looking so good. I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, the whole project started actually because last year I was really trying to save money and I couldn't get him the gift that I wanted. And so I had a lot of um, yarn, like leftovers that I was like, maybe I can turn this into something. Since then, I've had to buy more yarn for it because <laughs> it's a big piece. Um, but it all started because I wanted to make use of my scrap yarn. So this might be your sign to make use of your scrap yarn for a gift. If you're here still watching, I want to say thank you so much. Be sure to follow on Instagram as I put a lot of content on there and keep you updated on my stories. I am going through a name change. On Instagram, you can find me as fibra.collective or fibra.collective. If you are watching this after October 31st, you should be able to find me as Andrea Quinteros. And make sure you subscribe here for next week's Yarn Journal Volume 2. See you then.